learning outcomes. After studying this module, you shall be able to know about performance benchmarking, learn performance monitoring, identify the importance of benchmarking, evaluate benchmarking process, analyze importance of monitoring. Introduction American Heritage Dictionary elaborated on performance benchmarking. Performance benchmarking is to measure specified standards in order to compare it with and improve one's own performance. Benchmarking can be defined as the process of setting high standards so that excellencies can be achieved in regard to products, services and processes and then efforts are being made to make improvement in these processes according to the standards set by the company. When the organization works according to the standards and tries its possible best to achieve these standards, then it is also known as best practices. The concept gained popularity in 1970 and it was started with the effort of Xerox Corporation in 1970. At that time Xerox was facing great losses in the market. Xerox thought of its revival so that it can survive in the market. It tried to develop certain standards to compare itself with its competitors and benchmarking came into being. Traditionally, benchmarking was considered as a means of gathering information about how the company is performing against its competitors. But now the time has changed. It is being used in various industries. Now, it is not only serving as tools of gathering information, but it is also being used in generation of new ideas as well as to explore various innovative techniques so that various processes can be improved. This helps in meeting the varied requirements of consumers in a better way. Thus, we can say that the main emphasis of benchmarking is to improve the various processes so that various states and requirements of consumers can be fulfilled in a better way. Benchmarking is now considered as one of the most powerful tools for promoting process improvements and re-engineering in many companies. Performance monitoring is based on indicators which are already defined and plays a very important role in framing various policies in achievement of targets for the organization. Performance monitoring helps to check the extent to which the objectives set by the organization have been achieved and also helps to evaluate the discrepancies in achieving the objectives of the organization. Now we will discuss the meaning and role of benchmarking. Benchmarking is a continuous process of measuring the performance of the organization internally as well as externally. It also helps in comparison of best practices applicable outside the organization and gives a chance to their leaders inside the organization to improve their performance and increase their knowledge on best practices. Benchmarking is also called as a reference point. Benchmarking is also defined as a means of creating attention and momentum of change. According to famous author Edith Cowan, University 2011, benchmarking is also considered as a tool for improving performance. Benchmarking may be defined as the process of improving the performance of the company by setting various standards and following best practices within and outside the organization. It lays emphasis on the improvement of various business processes and these improvements also help in the achievement of best practices in the organization. When companies follow best practices, then they have various kinds of opportunity at varied levels whether strategic, operational or financial. It can also be said that benchmarking is a continuous process where products, service results and processes are being compared with other company and the purpose of this comparison is to implement best practice approach in the company. Thus, 
we can say that benchmarking helps in creating excellencies within and outside the organization and also help in establishing good business practices which are being followed in other organizations. These best practices and standards help in generation of revenue and reduction of cost in the organization. It can be said that benchmarking is a process of measuring the performance of internal employees in the organization and keep a watch on the performance of leaders outside the organization for comparison. Benchmarking should be used in a broader sense and should not be limited only to technical areas for example engineering and finance. Benchmarking should be considered as a part of continuous improvement so that a company can become a market leader in the world. Benchmarking also helps companies in determining which of their processes and procedures could benefit the most from improvement and in which areas improvements might yield results. By benchmarking their performance on a consistent and ongoing basis, companies can measure how effective their improvement efforts over time. Benchmarking is one of the most effective method through which businesses can improve their operations and boost profitability and productivity. Benchmarking is a technique that helps in measuring and comparing the performance of an existing process, product or service against that of the recognized best in class both outside and inside the company. One of the most important benefits of benchmarking is that it helps in the discovery of innovative methods and approaches. Benchmarking also highlights the problem areas and suggests measures for their improvement and also provides incentive for various changes to be made in the organization. Benchmarking also helps in formulating strategies for the organization and also helps the organization in setting various plans, policies and targets. Through benchmarking, customers also get good quality products each and every level of the organization from top to bottom and each and every function from operations to marketing will be affected by benchmarking. So proper planning should be done for benchmarking and various indicators and performance measurement tools should be used to make benchmarking more effective. The various benefits of benchmarking are as follows. Helps in increasing productivity in the organization. Helps in measuring current performance of the company. Helps in SWOT analysis for the company. SWOT analysis means strengths, opportunities, weaknesses and threats. Helps in highlighting the areas of best practices and suggest measures for improvement in performance. Helps in examination of present process which always serve as an improvement tool in various kinds of processes in the organization. Helps in reflecting the true position of the company. Helps in bringing the latest innovation and inventions to manage the various business processes. Helps in formulation of various kinds of strategy for the company. Various kinds of strategy related with finance, marketing and sales are being set according to benchmarking parameters. Serves as a change agent for the company. It is considered as a change agent because it keeps a watch on the changing environment and according to the changes in the environment makes a change in the processes. Helps in proper allocation of resources and utilization of resources in the best possible manner because employees are given set performance targets and they have to work according to these targets. Helps in learning new techniques and ideas because competitors performances are also studied. Helps in comparing the performance of their leaders within and outside the organization. It is also used as a tool which continuously improves the performance of the company. Helps in formulation of budgets and financial planning for the company. Helps 
in the formulation of organizational design for the company. In short, it can be summed up that benchmarking is the process of comparing practices, functions, activities, products or performance against a reference point. The reference point comprises an organization and the internal units within an organization or industry or even outside an organization's industry. It is normally undertaken to identify areas for improvements by those organizations seeking to achieve greater performance or possibly those that are constantly searching for better methods of undertaking tasks. Now we will discuss upon performance measures and benchmarking. Benchmarking is a continuous process of identifying internally the best practices in the organization. It brings changes in the organization and also helps in the improvement of internal processes which ultimately helps in achieving market success. There is a wide difference between performance measures and benchmarking. Performance measure is a continuous process of measuring production, efficiency in cost, excellencies in operations and it also measures whether the organization has certain service standards and level of quality of the products. While on the other hand, benchmarking is a point to see whether the targets which have been set are being achieved by the company. Benchmarking is done for each and every area whether operations, finance, production and even billing procedures. First, identification is being done and then various ways and means are established to see the progress of benchmarks. Benchmark comes at the initial stage and after setting of benchmark performance measures are being taken into consideration to see the progress of benchmark in the achievement of objectives of the organization. It can also be said that performance measures serve as a catalyst for changing the information which is gained from benchmarking and it also helps in achieving a superior performance for the organization. The main concern of performance measures is to furnish the firm with various kinds of indicators in managerial areas so that good services can be provided to consumers and this all can be done in a cost effective way. Thus, benchmarking is a process of taking the firm on lines of continuous improvement. Once the standards have been set by the firm for a particular process, then the firm establishes benchmark so that the objectives can be achieved at proper time. Benchmarks are changed according to changing conditions because improvements in the organization is a continuous process which automatically forces the organization to make a change in various kind of strategies and according to what benchmark are being adjusted. If the firm wants that the benchmarking process should be successful, then the firm should gather information on how effectively they are doing and how improvements are being achieved. This is done through performance measures. Thus, we can say that performance measures serve as the base for information in formulating strategies and to fulfill the varied requirements of consumers. Performance measures helps in improving productivity and also encourages competition in the market. Thus, it can be rightly said that performance measures is like a report card for the organization which reflects how properly the organizational resources has been utilized. Performance measure should fulfill the following criteria. Performance measures should be implemented on a continuous basis. Performance measures should be quantified easily. Performance measures should also measure the various changes taking place in the organization. Performance measures should be simple rather than complex. Performance measures should use standard indicators for measurement of performance. Performance measures serve as the method for evaluation of product, process, service and standards. 
it can be concluded that performance measures should not be tied to one standard but continuous improvements should be made according to the benchmarks being established by the company now we will discuss upon the types of benchmarking there are many types of benchmarking and many ways were established to categorize these types these terms have been used by different authors with different meanings but each type seems to be useful for a particular situation the types of benchmarking are not as important as the aims of the organization and everyone should work hard for the achievement of these aims the aim should be clear and communicated to each and every employee in the organization so that each employee should work in one direction for the achievement of these aims in most organization five types of benchmarking are found first process or generic benchmarking in this type of benchmarking the main emphasis is on the process the organization may be different and the products manufactured by them might also be different but their processes can be similar for example banking industry and hospital industry their processes are same that is to provide service to clients in generic benchmarking technology is taken into consideration in this type of benchmarking the whole process is studied and according to the process the technology is being applied second internal benchmarking this type of benchmarking is limited within the boundaries of a single organization this type of benchmarking looks after the internal operations of the organization the main purpose of this type of benchmarking is to set internal standards for performance within the organization there are various departments in the organization but each department is dependent on the information of another department so sharing of information from department to department comes under internal benchmarking this type of benchmarking is also used in companies having branches and units all over the country and each is dependent on the information of other unit this type of benchmarking is used when an organization searches for best practices within its own boundaries for example multinational companies always use internal benchmarking third competitive benchmarking in this type of benchmarking the companies analyze the competitors performance and attempts to perform better than its competitors this type of benchmarking comes under external benchmarking in this type of benchmarking the companies are different but the market in which they are dealing is same for example pepsi and coca cola both organizations are different but their market area is same and both the companies frame their strategies according to the strategies of their competitors fourth functional benchmarking this type of benchmarking is also known as industry benchmarking this type of benchmarking also comes under the category of external benchmarking and it is being performed against industry leaders in this type of benchmarking some characteristics of various companies might be similar whether in technology or in market in this type of benchmarking the main attention is on certain particular functions in this type of benchmarking there is no direct competition among the companies fifth best practice benchmarking this is the most pure form of benchmarking that exists today it is used in identifying and learning from best practices in other organizations using similar process but achieving superior performance this type of benchmarking requires a thorough understanding of an organization's current process and its performance and also helps in identify the enablers ability to outstanding performance in the benchmarking process best practice benchmarking is considered superior of all the types of benchmarking it also provides the opportunity to make the most significant improvement the companies being benchmarked are the best in the particular process 
best practice benchmarking provides the greatest opportunity to achieve the maximum return on investment. Therefore, the company analyzes its own requirements and according to its requirement, the type of benchmarking is implemented by the company. The company may take various factors into consideration before implementing any benchmark in the company. The various factors can be area of operations, size of business, degree of competition, location of the company, intensive techniques of the company, nature of business, etc. Next, we will discuss upon benchmarking process. The benchmarking process is a step-by-step -step process planned carefully and each step is sequentially arranged. All the steps are planned in chronological order. These steps are sometimes also shown in the form of a model. Though the steps are sequentially planned, they should be simple and there should not be too much complexity in these steps. Almost all the models of the company in benchmarking process include the following steps. First, data planning. In this step, the data is collected about various kinds of processes and according the data collected, the company decides which process is to be benchmarked. This data can also be collected from the mission statement of the company. In this step, various products which are being manufactured by the company is identified and after identification of the products, the company decides which process will be best for the organization. The company will also see that which process will be most profitable and fruitful for the company. After the process has been identified by the company, then the various requirements of consumers are also studied. After identification of consumer needs, then various factors related with benchmark are also studied which plays a very critical role in the success of the business. Second, organizing the team. Organization means proper arrangements. It is a process which coordinates the different resources of an enterprise. Once the planning exercise is completed, then the next step is organization. In this step, various team members will be selected who will be responsible to carry out the benchmarking activities. The members are selected from different areas and according to their specialization, they are allotted various kinds of benchmarking activities. These team works like a group and each member follows the principle of Esprit de Corps in the group. Some organizations divide these groups into teams. These teams can be A, lead team responsible to ensure the work is completed on time, B, preparation team responsible for the analysis work, C, visit team responsible for visiting the site before and after the benchmarking process. Third, data collection. In this step, the data is collected about which companies are engaged in the culture of best practice. In this step, the data is also collected about the performance of the company. This data collection task will help the company in making various improvements in their product, process and service. In data collection exercise, companies also lay emphasis on site visit where the benchmarking activities are being undertaken. Site visit gives a better idea about how the benchmarking process is to be implemented by the company. Fourth, data analysis. After collection of data, the next step is to analyze the data. In this, the discrepancies are being analyzed and companies try to remove these discrepancies. The company also analyzes why there is a deviation between actual and the expected standard and the company takes all possible measure for correction of these deviations so that performance can be improved. Fifth, necessary action. The next step is to implement the benchmarking process in the organization. Necessary changes which are required are being made by the company and after that the best practices are being implemented in the company. The best practices which are being implemented should be according to the requirement of the process. 
Now we will discuss upon the disadvantages of benchmarking. Though benchmarking has various advantages for the company, but it has certain disadvantages also. The various disadvantages of benchmarking are first, benchmarking can be expensive and proves to be an extra financial burden for the company. Second, it restricts innovative techniques because the techniques which are used by competitors are taken into consideration. Third, sometimes benchmarking activities can force the organization to lose their attention from customers and employees. Fourth, the data collected for benchmarking activities sometimes may contain errors which can make comparison a difficult exercise. Fifth, sometimes it becomes very and cumbersome to find a benchmarking partner. Sixth, Sometimes benchmarking is restricted by employees because implementation of benchmarking will make a change in their working style and they do not want a change in their working pattern. Seventh, benchmarking is a continuous process and making changes continuously can be a cause of difficulty for the company. Eighth, sometimes benchmarking process will not be implemented successfully due to these organizations can suffer loss. Thus, these are the various disadvantages of benchmarking, but if the process is employed in a tactful manner, then the disadvantages can be converted into advantages. Last summary. Performance benchmarking is to measure specified standards in order to compare it with and improve one's own performance. Benchmarking came into being in 1970. Benchmarking helps in SWOT analysis for the company. There are four types of benchmarking practice in every organization. Benchmarking process is a step-by-step -step process and it consists of five steps. Benchmarking can be costly and a great financial burden for the company. Benchmarking helps in constantly searching for better methods of undertaking tasks. 